this is the thing that we make in today's build. Pretty standard, really. It's an aqua tuner underneath a steam turbine in order to do cooling for your base. This one uses a gold amalgam aqua tuner. So the reason it's special is that it needs some extra stuff down here to make sure that gold amalgam aqua tuner stays cool enough and doesn't overheat. This isn't particularly groundbreaking or anything, uh, but I find that I need to be able to tell people how to do this pretty frequently. So I'm making a video so that I can refer people to it. So all that's happening here is there's a room full of steam and uh, the aqua tuner heats up the steam. The steam turbine, you know, operates to cool down the steam. And there is a liquid pipe that runs through it all. Uh, in this case, I'm using water. They go through the aqua tuner and cool down well, your base. In this demo, I have a, a room just full of warm water here, so it's cooling down a room of warm water. But normally you'd want that to cool your base down. And then the pipe of full of water coolant goes all the way through. Uh, back into the aqua tuner again. I think most of you have seen setups like this before, so it shouldn't be too surprising. All right, so let's build this thing. I'm going to start by building a ladder. I have to build an airlock on the room in the bottom, which will contain the steam. That way I can make it into a vacuum and get it so that there's only steam inside of it. Make the room three tiles high. Five tiles wide because that's the width of a steam turbine. I'm not going to put the ceiling on that quite yet because the way I want my dupes to build this is from the bottom up, one layer at a time. Put a bottle emptier in here in order to get the water in this liquid lock so that I can make the steam room into a vacuum. I can go ahead and build the right wall. So the first three tiles will be the steam room. The next level will be the layer of insulation between the steam room and the steam turbines. The next three layers will be the steam turbines and the last layer will be the ceiling. I can start putting water in. There we go, that's set up. That'll put water into the airlock. As soon as it's possible, you can start building in the next layer of tiles. So my strategy for making the steam room into a vacuum is to just fill it up full of tiles like this. And then once the airlock is complete, I can just hollow it out. So that's the entire steam room. The next layer is a layer of insulation to go between the steam room and the steam turbine room. Put the steam turbine in so that this starts to look like something we will recognize. Our liquid lock is good enough to haul all of this out. So I'll take out all of these tiles uh, so that this is a vacuum underneath. The steam turbine needs some plumbing no liquid vent. The point of this entire video is to demonstrate how to do this with uh, a gold amalgam aqua tuner. So I'll use the gold amalgam aqua tuner. One of the things in your base that you would like to cool with this setup is the steam turbine. So I'm going to route a radiant liquid pipe through that room. For the rest of the pipes, I'll use insulated pipes made of igneous rock. The output from the aqua tuner is gonna go out into your base to cool stuff down. Then it will return back to the setup to cool down the steam turbine and go through the aqua tuner again. I'm gonna, I always put a bridge in here to bypass the aqua tuner. Uh, the way it's set up, the way I intend this to work is that a, a packet of water coming down this pipe goes through the aqua tuner or it goes past the aqua tuner and through this bridge. That packet of water ends up in exactly the same spot in this exit pipe, no matter which way it goes, like always. And if I'm right about that, then I can't think of how it would be possible to get this stuck. If you do figure out how to make that get stuck, I think that would be an interesting thing to know. I'll put a wire in here to connect all of this to power. This is definitely not a self-powered build. You'll need to use external power to cool your base using a setup like this one. So the hard part of using a gold amalgam aqua tuner and not a steel one is that the gold amalgam aqua tuner overheats when it gets to 175 degrees. Even if the steam in here is much lower, say you kept the steam in the room at 125 degrees, the aqua tuner doesn't interact with that steam fast enough to keep itself cool. Because it generates heat, it will overheat and get damaged anyway, even if it's in a room full of relatively cool steam. So there's a couple of things that you need to do in order to keep the aqua tuner cool. One of them is put it, let it sit in a little bit of liquid. I'm going to put a bottle emptier in here 
and I'm going to use it to put a little bit of oil in the bottom of this room. The aqua tuner will be in contact with that oil, and the oil will keep it cool enough, fast enough, so that the aqua tuner does not overheat. The heat that gets into that oil needs to be put into the steam. And you can use a temp shift plate. You don't need a very fancy one. I'm going to use a copper ore temp shift plate in order to demonstrate that you don't need a fancy temp shift plate in order to do the job. Now that the bottle emptier right back here has been constructed, I'm going to tell them to put a little bit of oil in this room. Oil or petroleum works fine because it won't evaporate at 100 degrees or any temperature that the steam gets up to. So Ellie just delivered some oil to the bottle opener and there is now some on the floor of the room. That's all you need, it's just a little bit. Looks like we've got uh, 100 kilograms, that's plenty. So I'm going to deconstruct that bottle emptier now. There's nothing left that we need to build into the steam turbine room in order to do the job, so I can just close up that room. We need to make sure that there's enough water in the steam room so that when it turns into steam, we have the amount of steam that we want. I like to do about 200 kilograms per tile, although that's probably overkill. So I'm going to put a bottle emptier in the room and tell my dupes to start delivering water to it. I should have used that bottle emptier I deconstructed a moment ago. This part of the pipe that I've blueprinted in represents the pipe coming out of the aqua tuner into your base to do cooling and then come back into the aqua tuner. I'm going to cancel that build and just use the sandbox in order to create something for the sake of the demonstration. I'm going to use the sandbox to create a room over here full of something warm so that when we start up the build it has something to do. This is just a dummy for the demo. Obviously in your real game you would want to cool down your base and not some random room full of warm water. And I will connect that, I'll connect the pipes up so that it runs through this room. And of course, once the coolant has run through our warm room, trying to cool it down, we want it to loop back into the build again so it can go through the aqua tuner again. So we currently have 500 kilograms of water per tile in each of four tiles. Let's go with that. I'm going to deconstruct that bottle emptier now. We need a bit of automation in order to make sure the aqua tuner doesn't cool water below zero degrees. If it does, then its pipes will freeze and things will break. That's a liquid pipe thermal sensor to test the temperature of the water in the pipe just before it goes into the aqua tuner. I'll use that to turn off the aqua tuner if the water is not warm enough to go through the aqua tuner without freezing. Um, I'm also going to put a filter gate in here, which is something that I like to do to prevent the aqua tuner from turning on and off really quickly. I can set up that liquid pipe thermal sensor now. Um, we want the aqua tuner to be on only if the temperature of the water is above 14 degrees. Okay, now that everything in the steam room has been built, we can close it off with insulated tiles. You might want to preserve this airlock so that when you want to, you can, you're, you can have your dupes run in here just by perhaps deconstructing these two insulated tiles again so that they can get in. That's not something I want to do, so I'm just going to deconstruct the airlock as well. The build is ready to get started. The way you make it start working is to put water into the cooling pipe. I'm just going to use the sandbox to put a pump in right there. All right, that's all working now. You can see the aqua tuner is definitely producing heat and the water down here should be warming up. It's only at 16 degrees, so it has a long way to go. I'm gonna speed this up. All right, so the water is at 100 degrees now. In just a minute, okay, there we go. The water is starting to turn into steam. What we should see is all of this water will turn into steam and the oil that's in here should run across the floor. There we go, perfect. So now the aqua tuner, instead of heating all the way up to you know 170 degrees or something, it will give its heat to the oil that it's sitting in. And that heat, can be transferred from the oil to the steam by the temp shift plates that are in the background that you can see right there. Well, let's keep an eye on this. It will continue warming up until it gets to 125 and then the steam turbine will begin to operate. 
All right, now you can see the steam is finally up the temperature. It's up to 125 degrees, so now the steam turbine can turn on, and it's starting to generate some power, but more importantly, it's starting to cool down this room. So as we add heat to the steam, the steam turbine takes the heat out of the steam and keeps everything cool. I think that's the end of this part of the demo. This build can run continuously like this as long as you can supply power to the aqua tuner. If you'd like to vote on what you'd like to see next, I have a Patreon with a poll. There's no money involved. I think you have to have a Patreon account to vote, but you don't have to actually pay any money for anything. Also, keep an eye out for my next video. It's about a simple early volcano tamer that doesn't use any steel, uh, which is why I made this video to demonstrate how to do the aqua tuner and steam turbine part of that without using steel.